But yeah, it's, I started out racing light buggy. We raced that for probably about 10 years. I had a couple pro, pro light rides here and there. And um, then my dad and I decided to start building this car. And then the single buggy. Just as we were about to finish it, I got a call from a, a Jason Janis, a, a, he owns a pro light, and he asked me to drive for him in a couple weeks. Red Bud, I was like, super, I felt super good. And you look at the practice times, and I'm like, holy crap, we're fifth fastest. And then um, we go up for qualifying, and it was the last lap, and I was just, just trying to squeeze every little bit out of it, and that's when I ended up having the accident. It was a big jump, and then there was like a, it was almost like a step up. I ended up hitting the face of the jump, and ended up bursting my T12 L1 vertebrae. The doctor was straight with me, and he's like, yeah, there's a good chance you might never walk again. And I'm like, no, that's passing away. And I, I remember telling, Allison, my fiance, and my mom that I'll be all right. And then they took me by ambulance to RIC in Chicago, which is like the number one rehab facility in the country. The first day that I got there, they got me up on my feet and they had me standing in parallel bars and I was scared scared to death because I, and I am in the hospital, you don't, you just pretty much sat, sat there and I whittled away from 180 pounds to pretty much 150 pounds in that 10 days of sitting at the hospital. So then when I got to RIC, met some therapists and they, they got me going. I was there for about three, three and a half months. As the weeks got went on, I kept getting better and better. The floor where they have the spinal cord injuries, they have like a track up there and then they put you in a harness, almost like what we wear for racing. But they had like a rope tied to my back, or not tied, but hooked in and there was a track on the ceiling and I would walk with my walker as I, as I got stronger. For my therapist, she would always have goals for me for the week. For instance, like one of the first weeks, she's like, my goal is for you to, to walk 50 feet on your, or with the walker without falling or anything. And uh, my first week I walked 50 and uh, I was, you know, really fatigued, but I just kept pushing through and kept crushing it and like staying late and working extra hard and I, at first I didn't, I was really upset and like, I'm like, no, nah, I'm done racing. Then my friend Tyler, he was my crew guy for my whole career in, in light buggy. I'm like, dude, just keep racing the car. Like, just keep, keep maintaining it the way I taught you how to maintain it. And we just kept that going. And then um, Mikey Vanden uh he raced his car for me. When I got home and I was around the shop and I was around Mikey's shop a lot, cause I, just would go to physical therapy and I really wouldn't have much to do except for hang out with, with him and tinker with stuff and I'd sit and distract him the whole time while he's in the shop working on all the pro lights and stuff. But And I we kind of put together this goal to start racing again and it took me three years to get back into racing. And Mikey, Mikey Vandenhovel and then John Fitzgerald, another friend of mine, he's, he raced his car for me and they got it dialed in and got it up to speed. It's been great ever since. I'm not, not as fast as those, those two, but I still can go out and do it safe and have a lot of fun. So the advice, that, the advice that I would have for people is don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. The doctor said, oh, you're never gonna, it's a good chance you're never gonna walk again. And I'm like, screw that. I'm like, I've got, and I knew where the level of injury was, and if there was, a, there's a possibility I was gonna do everything I could to, to do it, to be able to walk again. And it's not pretty, but I could still do things that I like to do and enjoy my family. And that's that's the most important thing, having a good family behind you and everything like that.